thank you to Super Impulse for sending me all of these products as a free gift to review. I just got this awesome box from Super Impulse. I'm so excited to see what's inside. Oh, there's a little greeting card. It says, can you hear the sound of adventure and smell the nostalgic air? Let's get a closer look at this card. Ooh, there's a world's smallest Care Bear and a roller skating Barbie. There's also a little Nerf gun and a Wooly Willy. And there's even a tiny Boppet. That's so cool. Okay, let's dig around and see what's in here. Oh my gosh, that looks like a tiny big wheel. And it is. And Oh my gosh, it's the world's smallest Care Bear underneath. Okay, I'm gonna dig all of this out and I'm just gonna show you guys everything that's inside. So first, of course, we have the world's smallest big wheel. It has little wheels that actually spin and the handlebars swivel so you can steer it. You can also open the little saddlebag on the back, which is so cool. And you can take the seat off and adjust it. I can't believe how much detail there is in this tiny big wheel. Then of course we have the world's smallest Care Bear, which is so cute with its little pink heart button nose, its little rainbow star patch on its belly, and its cute little embroidered hearts on its feet and its little tush. But I really want to compare its size to a Care Bear's Mini from Basic Fun. Let's see who's actually the smallest. Oh my gosh, I can already tell that the Care Bears Mini from Basic Fun is actually smaller. Super Impulse, you have some work to do. They also sent a world's smallest trouble game. Oh my gosh, I always wanted this game as a kid, but we never got it. But now I have it in miniature. So if we just slide the game board off, we have the tiny little pieces underneath in a little bag, which actually fit in the little holes on the board. And there's the tiniest little dice I've ever seen in the middle in a little bubble that actually makes the dice jump when you press it, just like the real game. This is so awesome. We also got the world's smallest Wooly Willy. Now, who remembers Wooly Willy? I don't believe I actually ever owned one of these, but I definitely remember playing with these multiple times. Playing with Wooly Willy was always so fun because you just use this little magnetic pen thing to move these tiny little metal particles all over his face to give him hair and facial hair, and you could just get really creative with it. And last for the world's smallest items is the world's smallest pickleball. I honestly don't know how pickleball is played. I'm more of a badminton girl myself. But this world's smallest pickleball comes in this nice, neat case, which is attached to a keychain so you can take it wherever you go. And it comes with two little paddles and two little balls. Now, let me see if I can even hit one of these balls with a paddle. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, there is one last thing in the box. It's a pop tater. But more specifically, it is a collector's edition Hatsune Miku pop tater. And it includes one surprise original potato head part inside. Let's pop open our pop tater and take a closer look. Now, I didn't know who Hatsune Miku was, so I did a quick Google. And apparently, she is a virtual Japanese pop star. So she went from pop star to pop tater. Her origin story is that she comes from a not-so-distant future where music was lost and she emerged as an android and reintroduced singing to the world. Okay, let's see which original potato head part she comes with. Oh, it's the ears! That's cool! 
But since she is a collector's edition, I think I'm going to stick her right back in her packaging and leave her for display. Well, that was everything that was in the Super Impulse box. If you liked any of these items, make sure to check out the description box down below where you can find affiliated links to these items. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.